so today was the first day of the CTF. In the morning, John and I arrived there fairly early to play one of the challenges. The challenge was special because every team got a time slot, one single time slot for that day, and so we had to come in early. Google, why is everything so early? Today's the day of the CTF. It's 7.30 and I need to be at 8 at Google because they have prepared like a challenge that John and me have to do like right in the beginning before the CTF starts. Uh, you will see why in a, in a moment, but I need to very quickly shower and then head out. So see you there. Just in time, let's go. Good morning. Good morning. Do you want to be on camera or not? Sure. Okay. This is Federico. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so, do you think we should watch the video first or the picture? Uh, let's go to the video first. It's six minutes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's just this for six minutes. There's no context. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have you still there, buddy? I died. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We have a couple of minutes left before the CTF. Uh, we also received this envelope. Every team gets such an envelope. We don't really know what's inside, and we wait with opening it up uh, to like nine o'clock when the other teams also open it up. So um, we will see what's in there. It's probably like the Wi-Fi password and things like that. But maybe there's more to it. There's definitely, there's definitely something in it. <laughs> what is it, auto wearing? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> yeah, they, they kind of went out of the last line. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Please find your camera. You may okay, the So, have fun, good luck, and may the odds ever be in your favor. So the first actual challenge was just solved by Red Rocket. Unfortunately, he was a remote player, so they have no clue how it was solved. But yeah, congrats, that was the uh, big first blood, I guess. So the challenge that was just solved by Red Rocket is called Stuffed. It's in the MISC category, and the challenge description reads, just click the link and the page displays the flag. Easy, right? But when you go onto this website, it shows a plain like flag colon and then nothing happens and the site keeps loading and doesn't really do anything. At some point it like crashes, the, the tab crashes. But when you try to look at the request, for example with Burp, you get a very different response. It says not acceptable and the text reads that uh, to avoid a repeat of last month's bandwidth bill, we only support browsers that can understand broadly compression. Supported browsers include Chrome, Firefox, Edge, Safari, and Opera. And of course we are using Chrome, but we are going through this proxy with this HTTP request. I wonder where the flag itself is hiding. Maybe you somehow just has to have to get to the actual like data stream, but there's the SSL layer, so maybe the, 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 the stuff that comes out of the SSL layer, at least was my thought, that might be the compressed data, and then you somehow have to decompress it. So I tried to use uh, OpenSSL to connect to this SSL server, but uh, it didn't seem to work. Uh, I get SSL errors. Apparently, like there's an, a handshake failure. So now I'm not quite sure how to approach this. Also, I got to talk to two teams that attempted the B challenge. 
uh, when they were coming out and both teams also didn't succeed. So I'm quite happy about that because we failed. It's not correct. Your flag is not correct. It's totally different. It's not totally different. <laughs> but it's not correct. Hmm. Hmm. So this is a fake flag? No, it's... Can I see? Uh, Challenges, happy hacking, and that's it. Have fun, good luck. Hey everyone, so we have our first attempt for the Gomium challenge, which is a portable, it's a browser exploitation challenge. One team here, Bastion, I think they have an exploit, so let's try it out. Alright, let's try it. Yeah. That's it, go back to work. Okay, so there's a, there's a serious lack of cola to fulfill my addiction, but now there were some. So I stole two and I will put them in my bag for tomorrow morning because I need that stuff in the morning. It's almost 8 p.m., which means that the CTF is almost over. I think let's go into the CTF room and just have a last overview of uh, how the CTF area looks like after the first day. As you can see, the CTF players are still concentrated as always. Uh, by and yeah, outside there are just some of the staff, the organizers, um, still hanging out. But yeah, it's not much going on anymore. Except here again. Here, look, it's Gadget Overflow, my favorite YouTuber. <laughs> so the CTF players just left. The scoreboard and challenges stay online, but they will not be supported. So if the challenges crash overnight or go down, um, they will not get any support. But they still have the chance to solve them overnight. So it will be kind of interesting in the next morning when, this, when the flag submission goes back online again and they can then submit all the flags. Uh, maybe we see a lot of crazy animations tomorrow. So I reviewed a couple of the recordings I've done. I'm backing them up always from the SD card, so to have it in two places. And I noticed that a lot of the footage is blurry because I accidentally switched to auto uh, to manual focus. Or for example, when I talked to Ginvail, the autofocus was set to looking for eyes. And for whatever reason, it didn't really recognize our faces a lot. And it focused on the eyes on the laptop from Ginvail. And when he closed it, that's when it started to focus back on our faces. Like things like this, I kind of need to learn. Also, for interviews, I noticed that the wide aperture to get like the nice blurry effect is not really good because as soon as like the people are at different distances, like leaning forward or backward, they start to get blurry too. That's not a good fit. So yeah, sorry for the not so great footage. Um, but you know, I now I'm gaining experience how to do it better. And in the end, I still think it shows kind of like the spirit and 
and, and shares the experience with you. At around 8 p.m., the CTF was over for the day, and I, yeah, and basically all the CTF players went back here to the hotel, but I'm sure they will work throughout the night or through most of the night. So I will now lay into bed with my laptop, try a bit more some of the challenges. There's one that I kind of like want to understand a bit better, so I'm, we'll look more into that. I'm, I'm not even close in anything solving, so that's that. And then I guess sleep soon. So yeah, talk to you tomorrow.